Hey guys, what's up? It's Nth Dimensional coming at you at another first look for another event. Are you ready? All right, let's get into it. So today we're talking about the Liberation Day for Mimitar Republic. We got the patch notes up. We've spent a few hours already in the event to kind of get some, some first look details, all that good information that you're going to want to get ready to get out there and make loads of isk and enjoy the event to its fullest. Of course, we are looking at an exploration-based lens. We do mainly do exploration-based content here um, on our Twitch channel, Nth Dimensional. Uh, so we're not going to talk about the combat kind of things, but we will talk about the exploration and event in general. So if we go over the patch notes here, released just a few hours ago, it says events. The Mimitar Liberation Day event has begun. This event celebrates the anniversary of when freedom was secured for billions during the Great Mimitar Rebellion. Festivals across Republic Space and Great Wildlands, which is in Nullsec, and will run until downtime on the 20th. So we got 12 days of this event to make the most of it. And it seems like it'll be pretty all right. We got the centerpiece of the Liberation Day continues this year, takes the form of a friendly tribal tournament open to capsuleers of all races, the Liberation Games. Pick one of the seven tribes to support to get involved in exciting new events happening all over Mimnitar space. So if you're curious what Minotaur space is, that's going to be Molden Heath, uh, Hematar, Metropolis, and I guess the Great Wildlands as well. So the rewards are going to include boosters, skins, so these are agency boosters, skins unique to your tribe, and a special tribal tattoo. And we'll go over those a little bit more in a few moments here. It also says most Liberation Games activities that you take part in will add points to your chosen tribe's point pool, at the end of which the event, the tribe which receives the most support from the Capsuleers who take ownership of a newly constructed station in Pator alongside a monument to their victory. The new station will then change ownership after each Liberation Game to the event winners for the most recent contest. So this is something that they plan on iterating and doing year after year after year, hopefully, and so hopefully it gets... It continues to be a good source of event content in the coming years. There's also, so there's the new Liberation Games Historical Reenactment Combat site. Again, we're not going to talk about those too much. Check out Ashtarathi. I believe he's making a video about that pretty soon. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for that good stuff. There's also Liberation Games data site, and they're appearing in the Minotaur Republic High Sec, Non Faction Warfare Low Sec as well as the Great Wildlands. There's also a special lore tour challenges for the key locations in the Great Rebellion. We haven't done too much of this, but it seems like it probably just gets you some, some points. Um, if you're interested in that, it seems like pretty easy to do. Just haven't had our time to really uh, get our claws into that one yet. There's also daily login gifts available to all Capsuleers, including skill points, skins, Minotaur Republic apparel, and a special four-day Mimitar Liberation expert system, and that expert system does seem pretty good. Again, we'll look into this a little bit more in a few moments. We wrap through these patch notes. There's a special warp velocity bonus that will apply to all capsuleers while traveling through the Mimitar regions of Hematar, Metropolis, Molden Heath, and Great Wildlands. Very similar to the Galente uh, event. It is plus two AU to whatever ship you're traveling in, and it just makes getting around the area a little bit nicer. The Republic Fleet Parades have returned and can be found within Pator, Renz, Heck, Aram, Sudan, or Tian Sud, Arthrinder, and Horjamold systems. Uh, so again, very similar to the Glente event. These are going to be systems with basically a flotilla of kind of capital ships of the Mimitar Republic. And you're going to be assigned to go to one of these each day to fire fireworks at it, and you can get a little uh, SP bonus by doing so. Again, just the exact same as the Galente event that we had a few weeks ago. Uh, the mining expeditions have returned, and they can be found within Ani, Ogunsoft, Almer, and the 730.kh constellations for the duration of this event. So, something to note is that there are mining event sites in the Great Wildlands, which is Nolsec. And previous to this, the only Nolsec uh, mining sites were in Stain. So if you like mining and if you like Nolsec, maybe give it a shot. 
Um, we also got to celebrate the Liberation Day. New Fleet Ordnance Spike Skins from the Vigil Tallware Cyclone have been added. So this is if you are doing the mining event stuff. If you get the loyalty points, they have new skins for the Vigil, Tall War, and Cyclone, if you're interested in that. There's also some landmark sites. We haven't been able to visit any of those, but they're probably pretty neat. Uh, we'll probably have a stream checking those out in the future as well. The Abyssal Proving Grounds is going to be a Rifter free-for-all. I think that could be pretty fun. And the bonus is if you increase uh, effectiveness for overheating your modules. So it should be pretty, pretty fast-paced action there. There is going to be a CCP Twitch stream this Saturday on 1530 Eve time. And there's going to be Minotaur trivia quizzes for fabulous prizes. These prizes have been things like Galnet skins. Uh, your, your character gets a medal if you place highly in them. Uh, sometimes they offer free Omega time. Definitely worth checking out. I highly, highly, highly recommend checking out that uh, Twitch stream. And again, it is Saturday at 1530. And then right after that, on there's going to be a community ran celebration in Fator and Bosswagger. And that's going to start at 1730 this Saturday. And I will probably be streaming the event after the CCP channel, which we'll see kind of how things go. But I would recommend kind of just, just hanging out, going in there. If, if uh, you have a, some free time, checking it out, be part of the community, uh, you know, enjoy each other's company. And, you know, make some emergent gameplay happen, you know? There's also going to be a propaganda contest, which is assumingly very similar to the Glinte propaganda contest. In which case, you can again win fabulous prizes. So I do like that they're kind of incorporating, like, more out-of-game stuff to um, win things or to earn in-game rewards. I think it's just pretty neat. It's a, it's a pretty cool part of the community. Uh, so those are the main patch notes. There's some localization things and miscellaneous, but those are not terribly interesting. <laughs> Unless, of course, you like those localizations, which is, you know, fine too. So let's hop on over into EVE. And let's check out... First, let's check out the daily login rewards. So here we have our daily login rewards. You got seven of them. Uh, you have the Alpha Track and the Omega Track. And as you can kind of see, it is primarily skins. Um, these skins are pretty neat. We can go ahead and look at the probe. They got this kind of nice uh, gradient. They have a kind of Mimnitar front and then this blue and yellow in the back. Uh, let's see if we get something a little bit bigger. Let's try looking at the Tempest. So here is the Tempest. Again, it's got kind of a Mimnitar front color. And then in the back, it has this circle and this blue. And I think it looks real cool. I'm pretty happy about those skins. So you get a variety of those skins just by logging in. And you also get a few skill points. It looks like in total, 45,000 skill points. Uh, for day one, of course, you get a fireworks launcher and some fireworks. That's pretty standard. Uh, and then for day two, you get the expert system. And what this expert system does is gives you a lot of skills that is relevant to Mimnitar, frigates, destroyers, and cruisers. So basically any any like tech one or navy and even tech two frigate uh, you will be able to use with this expert system. So I think that's really cool. It gives you a good chance to try out some of those um, most importantly like tech two frigates. So you can try out like Jaguars and try out Wolves um, just really cool stuff with this expert system. And you can also use those ships in the combat sections, which I think will be pretty fun. Those are the daily rewards. Next, we'll go into the events. So if you go to your events in the bottom left, you'll bring up the agency page for this. When you first do it, there's going to be a list of all of the different tribes that you can choose from. Um, and each of them has a little question mark below them where you can kind of get a um, blurb about what they do. Uh, again, Astrothy has this lovely video uh, up, and I will put that in the description link in the description or even in the card thing. Maybe I'll actually use that system. So check your, your YouTube card. 
and there's also this Imager kind of file, and this will also be in the doobly-doo description, uh, where they have posted the kind of banners for each tribe, as well as the various skins that are associated with those tribes. So what's important to know is that when you do choose a tribe, you get this track. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of things on this track. But something that is important is that you get these skins. And I've chosen the Crucial tribe. And so we get Crucial skins. And I think these personally look the coolest. They're kind of like a nice, that doesn't show too well, but it's kind of like a nice coppery bronze. Uh, I think it looks really cool. So we decided to go with Crucial. Uh, I think a lot of other people are going with Crucial. Show your Crucial pride. Make sure that they're the winning team. If I'm going to do a little propaganda myself. So do join Crucial uh, if you want. If you want to choose other tribes, you can also do that. But each of the tribes has a little blurb. If you want to choose something for little lore reasons. Alternatively, you can check out uh, this Imager page where you can see all the different skins. And a showcase of the rupture of what it looks like on each of the ruptures. And there's also Sylvester, which is this nice black. Looks really cool. But choose whatever you like the most. It doesn't matter too much. And then you will get uh, quests or whatever these are called. Challenges. You'll get challenges. They are, you know, pretty standard. What we've experienced with all of the events. Go hack stuff. Uh, go do combat stuff. Go uh, mine stuff in the mining events. And then there's also the uh, kind of lore, um, check out the monuments uh, challenge. Each of those will get you points. You want to fill up your track, get the reward. Very standard stuff. Um, something to note is that you do have to click on receive rewards every time you finish one of these. So, for instance, the exploration one, the first challenge is to like warp onto the site. You warp onto the site, you click get reward. The next thing is like hack a can. You hack a can, you click get reward. The next one is like hack two cans. You hack two cans, you click get reward. Every time you have to make sure that you click get reward or else you're going to like get off cycle and basically have to do two sites for the value of one. Um, I, I kind of a quality of life. I wish they would let these things stack or auto accept them, but that's just something you, you got to keep track of if you want to fill up this track so let's talk about the actual site so the sites are data sites they're level three in your probe scanner so not terribly hard to hack uh, and there are two different varieties of sites they are the ones that are in high sec and null sec those ones are the same ones and then they're also the ones that are in low sec this information was given to me by ccp fozzy just to confirm so the high sec and null secs are the same, and then low sec is uh, the best. And when I say the best, I mean it's really the best. So if we go to our Excel real quick, um, did I just get rid of that? Okay, here we go. So here we took some, we'll call them measurements. So we did a total of 10 sites or kind of nine sites in our time. We found nine of them and we found out what security they are and what or how many of these tokens. So let's talk about these tokens real quick. And each of the sites, if we go to the patch notes, it says you can win fabulous prizes and so it says rewards. Nope. Uh, all right. Loot from these sites includes tokens that can be sold to the Mimitar NPC stations for ISK. And that's kind of the main thing that you're going to get. Uh, there's new and returning skins. There's limited, limited time Mimitar combat boosters. These are just cerebral accelerators. Uh, leopard BPCs, which is really interesting. And then cerebral accelerators. Um, so actually... I'm not actually totally sure what these limited time Mimitar combat boosters are. I don't think we found any of those. Uh, but you can get skins, money, leopard BPCs, or cerebral accelerators. So pretty cool loot. 
And what these tokens are is the main thing that you get, which we were talking about. If we go here, this is how many tokens that we got in each of these sites. As you can kind of see, high sec gives you about 50 tokens per site. Null sec gives you about 50 tokens per site. And then low sec, low sec gives you a lot more tokens. So we, we got attacked in this low sec site, but there was something like, it, it, there seems to be an average of about 270 or about 90 tokens per can. So let's actually talk about the layout of the site. When you go into the site, there is three cans. There's a novice can, a intermediate can, and an expert can. And all that means is that the, the novice is a green core, the intermediate is a yellow core, and the expert is a red core. Uh, they all contain the same like loot drops, so I would just recommend going for the novice first, then the intermediate, then the expert. Uh, and this is kind of the tokens that we got out of each of those. During these 10-ish sites that we did, we only found one kind of special item, and it was a basic cerebral accelerator. I haven't found any skins yet. I haven't found any leopard VPCs. I haven't found any of the, the uh, limited, time, limited time combat boosters. So it seems like those things are pretty rare. But I bet you're asking now, what are these tokens and how much are they worth? So essentially, you know how you previously got Overseer's effects in the event sites and you just sold those to NPCs and you picked up some money? They've now been essentially replaced with these Mimnitar tokens. You no longer get any Overseer's effects, but you do get tokens. And you get about, you know, like 50 per high sec side. And then what you do with these tokens is you can sell them in basically any Mimnitar NPC station. So there are a lot of areas to sell them in the event sites area. And they sell for 100,000 ISK each. Which pretty much converts to a high sec or a null sec site is going to be worth at a minimum 5 million ISK. And then there is a chance to get kind of special items which could increase that. Similarly, a low sec site is going to be worth about 26 million is. And then there is a chance to get extra goodies on top of that. So, is it worth it? Um, maybe. I mean, I'm definitely going to try it out a lot more. I don't necessarily think that the high or null sec sites are worth it. But I do think the low sex could be worth it. And when I say could be, I mean, if you can see here, we did three low sex sites. And out of two of them, we were attacked. So we were attacked by a Tango on the first site. We were attacked by a Mistero on the third site. We were only able to do one site unblessed. So if you're kind of going to be peaceful, I think you might have a rough time. If you want to do these sites, I would recommend something that can maybe hold its own in combat, or at least has some kind of defensive capability. Seems like the cat also wants to say hello. Everybody say hello. This is Black Glass. <laughs> hey, my fun little cat. Now, just trying to have a good old time. So, what else do we need to say? Oh, also, when you go onto the site, you might be afraid there are three turrets. However, they're called fireworks turrets. And all they do is when you successfully hack a can, they shoot fireworks at the can that you've hacked. So, just a fun little thing to not be afraid of. Um, I think that's all I have to say for now. That's kind of my first look. I think it will be a pretty cool event. Uh, I hope you do at least enjoy a little bit of it. It could be sort of profitable. I think those Leopard VPCs might definitely make the event worth running, as well as the Cerebral Accelerators are always a good boon on the Iskies. We'll just have to find out more about the drop rates. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Of course, if you did like this, make sure you do like the video. And of course, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. <laughs> And uh, do check us out on Twitch. We are Intimensional on Twitch. We do stream every weekday starting 1100 to 1800 Eve time and going for about three to five hours each day, mainly exploration-based content. The, con the, the links will all be in the doobly-doo. Do check them out. 
and I can't wait to see you there. All right, chat, chat for now, and happy flying.